What's up everybody? Day 24 on the over-the-counter T1D challenge. Uh, overall, pretty solid day today. I got a workout in this morning. was kind of feeling low energy. I think I'm just a little tired from the weekend. I haven't really had any time uh, to rest, which is my own fault. I, uh, just been working really hard. <clears throat> I got a, um, I had lunch today, you know, pretty large lunch. I had a protein shake this morning. Kept my blood sugars uh, below 210, and I uh, I had some cake this afternoon because I wanted to kind of treat myself, and they had some really good cake at my office this afternoon at WeWork um, for January birthdays. So I had some cake. Um, I bolus and I over over bolus and because of the delayed time of the R, I crashed in the middle of my first uh, improv class that I was teaching tonight of my of my year, and so I had a whole a whole room full of new students, and I was like sweating and kind of had brain lock a little bit, but I was able to get some coke. Uh, shout out to my TA Ken for grabbing me some coke, and. Um, Took you know, drank two of the two sodas from the bar and uh, at the comedy club and got myself back on track and had a really good finish to the night. I got a little bit of caffeinated in me late, so I'm kind of awake right now uh, when I should be tired. But um, you know, if you look at the chart, um, overall a pretty decent day. Uh, you know, considering that crash, hate to see that crash there. Wish that would have you know leveled off a little bit, but. Uh, you know, had a high protein late dinner, um, going into the, going into sleep, should be good to go. And man, uh, again, just counting down the days. Um, I think the good news is, um, in supplies, the only thing I've had to buy is, uh, is syringes, like I mentioned the other day. Um, and I think my single vial of insulin for both R and NPH is going to last me the entire month. So that's really positive, uh, in terms of a cost, cost saver there. Um, overall, it's a really good day. Got, uh, going to bring a new team member onto the Diabetics Doing Things team to help me with some podcasts to get things out more consistently. So, um, you know, so that I'm not behind on podcasts, uh, while I'm doing all this other stuff. So really excited about that. Got a new camera coming in. So my, uh, final few videos, I think are going to be stepped way up in quality. <laughs> And uh, I'm really psyched for that as well. So uh, lots of good things coming. Um, man, still can't stop thinking about what a great time it was this weekend at Type 1 Nation. Um, I've got a couple events coming up this week uh, or next week with JDRF Dallas. Going to do a little meetup happy hour for our JDRF Dallas YLC kickoff. Uh, so if you're in the Dallas area and I haven't already invited you, please, you need to come to this event Um on the 8th at High Fives in on Henderson. So, um, you know, if you're around for that, I'd love to have you. And other than that, you know, pretty smooth day. Uh, tomorrow, got a long work day. Um, gonna just continue to crank stuff out and, and get it done for the rest of the week. And, you know, our, our company's growing and so there's just a lot of work going into that, but we're real excited about the prospects uh, that we've got, and I'm even more pumped about diabetics doing things and the progress that we're making there and going all around the country this year to, to talk to people face-to-face -face about my story personally and, and our mission of diabetics doing things. So for me, uh, just, a, just a really good day thinking about uh, all the possibilities coming up here in the near future. So um, thank you guys all, again for all of your support. Uh, subscribe. We're only a few days left of this. And I got a couple of big, uh, you know, interviews after this is going to be done um, that I think are going to really make this challenge resonate long after it's over. So, uh, again, thank you for your support, and we'll talk to you guys all soon.